don't know about you, but I thank God that new every morning is His grace for me. I don't know how I would make it throughout this stressful time if it wasn't for the matchless grace of God. In 2 Corinthians 12 verse 9, God has promised us that His grace is sufficient for you and me and His strength is made perfect in our weakness. Are you feeling weak today, sick or stressed? God's grace is available for you. Join me for the next few minutes as we reflect on God's words and leverage the power of prayer. In today's prayer focus, we're going to talk a little about praying for His grace. But before we go further in, let's define what God's grace is. It is the strength to endure trials and to resist temptations. Let him who is without trial and temptation cast the first stone. Yes, I know. Now more than ever we are facing trials and temptations in our daily lives. For me, I carry the financial burden of my family during this time. I don't know what you are going through, but I know we are all going through difficult times right now. Maybe you're mourning the loss of a loved one. Maybe you have lost your job or you're running low on your savings. Maybe you're on a ventilator fighting for your life. If you are feeling weak and discouraged by your infirmities today, please remember what 2 Corinthians 12 verse 9 to 10 says. And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Therefore, I take pleasure in my infirmities, in reproaches, in necessities, in persecutions, in distresses for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I am made strong. Yes, my friends, God will give us the strength we need in our times of weakness to endure to the end. His grace has kept me so that I would not let go. I know that His grace can keep you too because God has promised to do great things for those who trust in Him. Will you join me in praying for His grace to endure to the end today? Let's pray for the following four things. Number one, Pray that God will give us the strength in our times in, of weakness. Number two, pray for Adventist Chaplaincy Department as they work to comfort and uplift those struggling and in need. Number three, pray for those across the Middle East and Asia who are persecuted for their faith. Pray that they would remain strong and show the love of Christ to their persecutors. And number four, pray earnestly for the latter rain outpouring on the church, that the message of salvation can go to far corners of this earth. Jesus will return soon. Let us pray. Loving Lord, we thank you for your grace that your grace, O oh God, is sufficient for me and for all of us. Even now, dear God, we want to place all these prayer requests before you. We know, Lord, that heaven doors are open and you are hearing our prayers and you will answer them. Lord, at this time, we want to say thank you for being with us so far. Thank you for answering our prayers so far. Be with us as we continue to trust in you and continue to give us your grace new every morning. All these we ask in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You know what to do. Like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on all social media pages at Shortwood SDA Church. Until next time, walk good. Bye.